Hi, this is Rich Risa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm doing the Angel Card Reading for September 1st through September 7th. It's kind of great when it starts out that way. So we're going to do a basic Angel Card Reading, then we're going to talk about a couple of astrology things that are going to be also affecting us. This is a card that's really popping in me. And then this one. Um, and so we're going to talk about all of this and then go into a couple of... Uh, astrological things that will be affecting us and doing some angel cards on that as well. So the first one is all about spiritual growth. And this is kind of really letting our abilities grow, what's going on in and around us, um, really kind of pushing us or allowing us to kind of push our abilities into a new realm. What is it that we want our abilities to change into or what are they already changing into? So the middle of the week we've got retreat. So this may mean kind of like pulling back a little bit, um, wanting a little bit more time alone. Um, I will say this is not necessarily a time to like veg out and watch movies. This is a really a great time to kind of like veg out with your own thoughts. What are your thoughts? What are you thinking? What do you want to change or modify in your world, not just vegging out completely into um, TV mode. Um, the last one is harmony. So kind of like this, the sixth and the seventh, we're going to be having this harmonic energy that we're really going to want to bring in some harmonic, harmonic energy of kind of like bringing in some special energy bringing in some special harmonic energy. Um, and this could be music, this could be something else, something to kind of like calm us down or relax us out a little bit. Now, one of the things that's really going to be making a difference at the beginning of the week, we have a couple of things that are gonna be happening like right off the bat. First off, we have Uranus going into retrograde in the sign of Taurus. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards for that. So Uranus going into retrograde in the sign of Taurus. I get the card music. And this is because we're kind of always bringing in our own um Drummers, We're always listening to someone else's drum. We're always following someone else's lead in what we want to do. And this is really pushing us to find our own lead, find our own music, find something that really talks to our spirit in all of this because we're going to be wanting that freedom, that desire to kind of follow our own path. Now, also on September 1st, we have Pluto going into retrograde. Now, it's been in retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, but now it's backed up enough to kind of go into Capricorn energy as well. Now this is going to be the last time for our lifetime because it's going to take a long time to get around again. But let's do one for just this Capricorn where in Aquarius it's kind of been really showing off a lot of energy of like what's been going on and kind of like the things that are behind the scenes where in uh, Capricorn we're going to be seeing this in a little bit different way of kind of like bringing up new lessons or old lessons that we learned in 20, um, 2008 eight when um this all first began to happen and this is all about listening really listening to people's words and really listening to the intent that they want us to understand that's going on so this is a really important card understanding that our energy is asking for us to really listen to what's going on in this amazing energy and this is a great time to really think about what do you want in your life and what do you really care for or desire to have what is it that you really want to bring forward because the next day on September 2nd, we have our new moon in the sign of Virgo. And this is really going to be putting us into developing our own routines or changing our routines or changing to what we've been having. And this is the card that's really popping forward. And this is literally the romance of it, the love of our calendars, the love of setting up time to balance between our family life and our business, our family life and what else we have going on in our lives and kind of finding that happy medium of like, where is that romantic balance? Because we can't be all just love, love, love. We also have to drive ourselves because we also have this inner desire to bring forward our love of what we want to create in our world. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.